Building an AI automation agency in 2024 has never been easier. And in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through some of the best case studies that I've potentially ever seen of big businesses using AI and how it's helped them. Now, what I want you to do is take every single case study that I'm about to go through and zoom out, see how this can affect other businesses, see how you can implement this into a smaller business, for example, or see how you could do something similar. But mostly, I want you to start seeing the patterns in how these different automations and different AI solutions are helping these businesses so that you can start doing the same with your client. If you're still sat there thinking that the AI automation agency model isn't the one for you, then stick around, watch till the end of this video, and I guarantee you it will change your mind. So let's jump into it. So look, the case studies that I want to go through today have actually been released by Salesforce. Now there's over 83 different case studies and each one gives us a little insight into the types of clients that they're working with and how AI is helping them. Okay, so one thing we have to realize is Salesforce, they have their own range of products. They have lots of different tools, CRMs, AI solutions, everything built in house. And these case studies we're about to go over specifically go over clients that are using the whole family of Salesforce, whether they're using Slack, whether they're using Einstein, which is their AI, whether they're using Salesforce as a CRM or their analytics dashboard, whatever it is, Salesforce covers everything. And a lot of these clients use the whole suite. So look, before I jump into the article, I want to go over a few things with you. What I really think that you can take from this video and from these case studies that I'm about to go through with you is what it should do is give you a really clear idea of what is being done in the real world and what is being done at a higher level. At the end of the day, you can go and create chatbots and you can go and create simple automations for people, but you're, you're gonna hit a wall. You're never gonna be able to scale to those big numbers if that is all you're doing. And I don't care what anyone says. If you go and start an agency and you manage to get it to 50K per month selling just chatbots, then please come and let me know because you are a hero, my friend. What we can do with the information that Salesforce has given us is we can start to look at the trends and the keywords that different clients are using to show us what their initial pain points were. And if you're smart, you can start to reverse engineer from these case studies and see how you can potentially roll that into another industry or a smaller client that is potentially within reach of your agency. So let's take a look at this. This is EVP at Vonage. He says, Salesforce's solutions have helped us to automate workflows that allow allow our teams to collaborate more easily, drive value for customers and fuel our international expansion. So let's dive into this. Their website is littered with all of this information. And what we can take from this is, well, we know that Vonage was struggling with automated workflows and Salesforce has stepped in, seen a huge opportunity there and a massive pain point that Vonage was likely facing and they've been able to help them fix that. So as I mentioned, Salesforce have their own generative AI tool um, or solution, it's called Einstein. Now, Einstein One is a platform that unifies your data, AI, CRM, development, and security in a single comprehensive platform. It empowers IT, admins, and developers with an extensible AI platform, facilitating fast development of generative apps and automation. So, in essence, I would assume it's something similar to Zapier and make tied into a platform like Relevance where you can set up automations and you can create generative conversational flows, all of that stuff. Now, this is Heather Conoran, Director of Brand Experience and Platforms at General Mills. The combination of AI, data, and CRM allows us to help busy parents solve the what is for dinner dilemma with, with personalized recipe recommendations their family will love. So again, we're seeing something that we've spoken about on this channel before by creating personalized uh, experiences, whether that be from a personal trainer in a gym, creating guides on how to work out or creating meal plans, or in the case of General Mills, helping busy parents find out what is for dinner. Now, of course, this is done on a much bigger scale. These guys are tying it into their CRM data. They're looking at what products people are buying and what their clients are buying. And then they're coming up with recipes and solutions off of the back of that data. Now, nine times out of 10, we're not gonna have these huge CRMs with these huge amounts of data inside, but it does make you start thinking about what can we do with data that we are collecting? And if the data is in a CRM, how can we use that to supercharge that business and whatever they're trying to do? So look, let's jump into some of these case studies. I know you are desperate to see them. Number one, we have Gucci. Now I've boiled each case study down to the core of what is actually being fixed here with AI. And in Gucci's case, just improved their customer experience. Now, Gucci's 600 client advisors across seven global hubs can now communicate with a clear brand voice while amplifying the human touch with AI. 
Gucci's nine teams are empowered to engage with customers on their specific interests along the customer journey. Now, if I flick over to the website and I'll link this website down below so you can check out all the other case studies, we can see here that what they've essentially done is they've essentially built a Gucci conversational bot that is trained on all of Gucci's product catalog. It can be used on WhatsApp, it can be used in the store, but it's essentially a bot or an agent that is trained on everything Gucci. It speaks like Gucci, it helps their clients, it helps their customers, and it just gives Gucci's team another angle, another edge, right? So I definitely recommend flicking through this and seeing exactly how it works and what they've done. But again, they've tied into Gucci's CRM on inside of Salesforce, and they have now supercharged advisors and Gucci's team members because they have all that data at their fingertips that is now plugged into a generative AI model that is actually sending messages on WhatsApp or responding to people on the website once they've logged in. So really simple if you think about it like that. And the reason why I wanted to break it down into what it is they're actually trying to do, and in this case, it is just customer experience. I want you to start looking at these case studies, trying to find the core thing that they're trying to help. Because once you do that, you start to realize that actually, that is the pain point that a lot of people are facing. We know that there's tons of e-com stores or retail stores just like Gucci that could definitely utilize something similar or benefit from a similar piece of tech. Just like Gucci's done, if they took their product catalog and they took all their orders, maybe that's done inside of a Shopify store, they looked at what is being ordered and they looked at how frequently people are buying certain things, you can start to use that data to supercharge your client's business. Think about it, why wouldn't Gymshark be using this? Why wouldn't Represent be using this? Why isn't every single e-com store out there using some form of generative AI that is tied into the back end of whatever system they're using or CRM and it's given personalized, customized support to that customer. So let's jump onto the next one. The next one is make a wish. Now, again, I've boiled this down to automations. Something stood out in the make a wish case study for me, which was super interesting. So make a wish previously sent thank you messages to donors manually after they made a gift. Now the organization automatically sends personalized thank you messages after every contribution. So if we jump onto the make a wish case study, and for those of you who don't know, make a wish is this like charity that helps terminally ill kids essentially make their dreams come true. You know, you see it all the time, like superheroes going into hospitals and that kind of thing. And, and it's fueled by donations. As we just saw, they were originally sending manual thank you messages out. So that was taking up a huge amount of time and super labor intensive. So why wasn't there some form of automation in place that handled that? So we can see here what the difference looks like. We can see that staff can now enter all of their information through the portal built on Experience Cloud. Again, another Salesforce product. This allows team members to, to track how many children want to visit a specific location and helps coordinate their visits more efficiently. Now, again, we can take information from that. Right now, there's probably plumbers and electricians out there that have tens of jobs every single day and they don't really know how to prioritize what job to do. If they get stuck in traffic somewhere, they may have to call the last person up and cancel that person. What if there was a system in place that they could implement where the AI essentially looked at Google Maps or it looked at the routes that this electrician had to take that day and it actually started to plan their day around the current jobs that they had and the type of work that was involved. So again, we're not specifically looking at Salesforce products here. We're not looking at using Salesforce products. What we're looking at is the use cases and seeing how we can incorporate them into the types of clients that we're going after. So the one that stood out for me is like I said, they were sending manual thank you messages and that is all now handled automatically um, through another Salesforce product. But again, we can do this inside of our own CRMs. We can set up workflows. We can set up Zapier actions, whatever it may be, we can do this ourselves. Another great case study of how a huge company is using simple automations inside of their business. And to me, I was blown away because I was like, well, why the hell were they doing it manually before? It made no sense, but they were. So that should give you hope knowing that there is so many businesses out there that need your help. Now, the next case study is Rosignol, which is a big ski brand. And again, I've taken what their main outcome was with working with Salesforce and for them, it's customer analysis. Now you could say customer analysis is kind of across everyone because that is what Salesforce does. They tie everything into their CRM, but especially with the Rossignol case study. Rossignol's marketing team generates three times more campaigns per week thanks to automated journeys and AI. Now it dynamically translates campaign content into different languages and sends emails at times when they are most likely to be read. 
So again, going back to the analysis side of things, Rossignol is essentially just looking at their orders and the types of products that they're selling to through their B2B wholesale network, and they're making decisions based on that data. They're analyzing that data and they're using AI to analyze that data, which is then supercharging their decision making. So again, we can look at this and we can say what other companies could benefit from this. And there are honestly an endless amount of businesses that could use something like this. Wherever there is data, if you can analyze it in a smarter way and help that business owner make a smarter decision that would ultimately lead to a higher ROI or reduce cost in staff hours or increased efficiencies, then you are onto a winner. So overall, Rosignol achieved a 300% increase in volume of weekly marketing campaigns, two times contribution of CRM to e-commerce revenue, which is crazy, and a 28% growth for group in 2022 to 2023, which is just insane. Now, I'm also not saying go and steal all of this information, but don't be afraid to use these in conversations or talk about these to prospective leads that you're speaking to because at the end of the day, these are real case studies of how AI has helped these businesses. Now, this next one is a big one. This is Spotify. I'm sure we all use Spotify. And what stood out for me was their client onboarding and kind of user journey when it comes to running ads for different businesses. So let's jump into this. Now, Spotify advertising has increased the number of marketing campaigns it runs each year fivefold, simply by automating customer journeys like registration. So the Spotify one's pretty interesting because they've done a lot of different stuff and it kind of ties all of the case studies we've just spoken about together. So for Spotify, they've done a lot with personalization. So inside of their advertising, they're tracking website visits with personalization. Visitors see customized buttons and banners based on their previous activity. We're looking at an increased efficiency in workflows just by centralizing the workforce inside of Slack and helping them get onboarded with different workflows that exist inside of Slack. They've got opportunity scoring, helping reps sell fast with AI by prioritizing leads based on those most likely to close. And again, think about that. You can use that for anyone in the B2B space that is trying to qualify leads or looking through a CRM at leads that have filled in a bunch of details and then you can get some form of AI agent to qualify those leads based on the information that they've filled out. That is another huge, huge benefit there. Opportunity scoring, so definitely take note of that. And again, we just get another insight into a huge business just like Spotify in how automations and AI have helped them. So look, are you gonna land Spotify tomorrow as a client? Definitely not. But what this should do is it should give you insights into how the biggest brands on earth are using AI in some way. And if we really simplify everything, all we're looking for is an indication of pain. And then we're trying to find ways of how automations or AI solutions can alleviate that pain. That is how we're gonna be able to charge money. And that is how we're gonna start to scale our AI automation agency, okay? Now it's now up to you to go and check these case studies out for yourself. Like I said, there's 83. So there are nuggets of gold in every single one of these case studies. And each one should give you more confidence in terms of understanding what types of businesses need what and what types of businesses have different pain points. Now, I wanted to leave you with a really quick idea on how you can actually you know, discover these pain points and find these golden nuggets. And this was just taken from the Gucci page. All we're really looking for is words, sentences, and phrases like this. Now, AI generates bite-sized conversation replies in a Gucci-fied brand voice to help advisors assist customers in store by phone or via WhatsApp, and it's all done with connected customer data. AI also helps the fashion house practice its mantra, the human touch, powered by technology, by scaling the capabilities of its advisors with brand ready messages. This is all keywords and messaging that we wanna be using on our site. These are all phrases and ways of packaging up what we're actually offering to make it make sense to these brands and these companies. These are all rocket fuel for our agency. And if you go through all of these different case studies, I guarantee you're gonna walk away with some gold. So if you did wanna learn how to build your own AI automation agency, the first link in the description down below will be access to the network. Now the network is our private community where we have hundreds of AI automation agency owners inside, all learning from live masterclasses every single week, resources and custom private guides that we have created for them. If you want direct access to templates, to chatbots and different automations inside of Make and Zapier, that is the place for you. So click the link down below and you can join the network today. Other than that, make sure subscribe to the channel for more updates around the AI agency model as a whole and hopefully I'll see you in the next video catch you later bye bye